Hi, welcome to The Buffer Zone. Today we're going to be looking at a product called OC1 and it's been released by a company called Fluidra. Now the OC1 product is a filtration media and it's been used in the commercial space for the last couple of years with uh, quite a bit of success actually. Um, I was lucky enough to be given a sample for residential uh, trials a few months ago and so I'm just going to give a little bit of a review on what I found um, with that application. I put it under some pretty strenuous uh, sort of circumstances and uh, it came out pretty well actually to be honest with you. I was quite surprised, pleasantly surprised by the results. The first thing to talk about is the independent tests that they've had done by um, certain uh, testing institutes over in Europe. The filtration itself um, seems to filter better than traditional sand. Uh, actually right down to one micron. So if you know what that means, it's actually a ultra fine filtration um, and uh, it's sort of comparable with the old diatomaceous earth filters that were around uh, back in the you know, 1960s, 1970s for residential pools. So uh, those filters, although they were amazing filtration systems, they got phased out because the maintenance was a bit of a pain and uh, the Dynamatrix has sort of got deemed to be a little bit unsafe to handle. So uh, since then, uh, there's been uh, a bit of a search for a media that would replace sand, that would filter better than sand. Um, and we've gone through different iterations. There's been zeolite and then there's been glass, both of which work quite well. Uh, but now we have this OC1 product that seems to filter almost as well as Dynamatrix Earth. And, um, seems to have all the ease of maintenance that uh, a traditional sand filter would have. So it's quite an exciting product and um, I was quite impressed by the um, results. Okay, so this is the inside of the filter. You see here you've got a set of laterals at the top, which is um, quite unique. Normally the, uh, there's only a set at the bottom. Now the reason they've done that is because the material is so light that when you backwash, it's possible the, the um, OC1 will lift and go through the piping, so that's why they've put this lateral set at the top. I'm hoping the video will pick up those little fine particles floating around in front of the light there. You'll be able to see that the pool itself looks crystal clear, but on a closer inspection, in front of the light there's those little fine particles floating around. I'm hoping that the filter after it's run for 24 hours, we'll get rid of all those little particles. Okay, so here we are a couple of days later and you can see from the light, the water in front of the light, how much better the water's filtered. Uh, yes, the water was clear before, but now you can see the absolute clarity uh, that you're getting with this media. The reason I, I shot the video there and installed the product there, obviously, as I said, it gets a high bather load, um, but also I, I find that it's uh, very hard uh, and you look at a sand filtered pool, for instance, and it will look clear to you. There's no, there's no doubt about it. The sand does the job it's supposed to and the water looks clear. But sometimes you'll notice when you turn the lights on at night time and you look closely at those lights that um, it shows up um, the fine particles that are still floating around the pool that haven't filtered out. So I chose this site specifically to test the, the, the uh, media on because the lights are on all the time and you'll be able to see the difference in the clarity quite easily when you look up close. So um, I hope that really shone through on the video because um, yes, both both times you look at the pool, the water was clear, but when you took a closer look through the right up against the light where, the, where those particles are, are exaggerated, um, you can see that uh, a couple of days after that filter was installed, uh, the water was certainly a lot better filtered than it was previously. So let's do a quick recap on the pros. Um, obviously the filtration efficiency that you get um, from a filter that doesn't build up pressure as it gets dirtier means that the pump has to work less. So even if it's a single speed pump, it's not working as hard to get the water through the filter. So you're gonna get some savings there. Now, if you have a variable speed pump, then you can also set the pump speed much lower to get the same turnover of water. So conceivably over the life of the pool pump and the filter, you could save quite a considerable amount of money. Um, on top of that, you've got less backwashing. So because the filter has the capacity to store so much uh, more debris than a sand, glass or zeolite filter can, uh, you backwash less often, less water wastage, less chemical wastage. It filters down to one micron, um, which is sort of un unseen since the Dynamatious Earth days, which is great. The filter media itself is recyclable, so 
the when the the life of the filter ends and you want to dispose of the media it can go in your recycling bin which is great and um, the filter itself uh, will come loaded with the OC1 inside it so actual installation becomes a little bit faster a little less uh, stress on the on the person who is installing it because they they will just carry the filter down plumb it in uh, obviously they still need to dispose of the old filter uh, and all of its media but uh, in installation uh, becomes just that little bit easier okay so let's have a quick look at some cons I, I, I can't really call them cons because um, they're not they're not negatives for this product they're just more comments I guess the filter that I was given as a trial to go with this media um, it was in 40 mil plumbing and I found that a little bit unusual given that um, the promotion of this product is it's so efficient um, I would suggest that a 50 mil valve on these filters no matter what size would also promote more efficiency as well so yes if it's coming in a 40 mil valve you'll get all those efficiencies but you just get a little bit more if the plumbing was in 50 mil um, so that's I guess uh, one comment I have I guess a bit of a negative is that you really need at this stage to put this media in it's a bit hard to retrofit to an existing filter you would need a bit of patience and a bit of labor to get that done and I guess cost wise it might be a little bit prohibitive for a residential application to go to the extra work to do that so probably at this stage I'd suggest it's maybe for new filter installations whether it's a new pool or an old pool that's replacing the entire filter so I hope that's been helpful for you there's really quite a bit of information attached as I said to the bottom of this review on our website not on YouTube you'll need to go to the website if you have the time uh, read through it it's really quite amazing to see that this product is really rewriting how these types of medias will need to be tested in the future if you read closely you'll see that the tests ended up being stopped before the filter had reached its capacity so it's really quite impressive and I would suggest that if you've got a bit of time have a read through and uh, familiarize yourself with it and you, you'll probably be happy to give this product a go um, next time you have to replace your filter thanks for dropping past the buffer zone hopefully we'll see you again soon